a quick makeup tutorial for you. I wanted to use this pink eyeshadow that I have and I decided to mix it with some more rich and deeper browns and I thought it was perfect for sort of transitioning from summer to fall. Um, I kept it very soft and very pretty and girly and just used some wispy lashes which are optional of course and a soft pink lip and barely there contouring. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look please keep watching. I'm going to start by priming my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm also going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm using my Too Faced Summer Eyes Palette, I'm going in with the Seashell shade. It's like a soft peach. And I'm just going to be buffing this in above my crease. Now I'm using the Cocoa Beach color and putting that more directly into my crease and blending outwards. Now I'm taking Brown Down by MAC and putting this in the inner and outer corner of my eye. Any chocolate or milk chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> deep brown will do. And I'm just going to blend this in once it's placed. And I'm speeding this up because I'm doing this really slowly. It takes a little bit of time. I'm going to pack Plumeria all over my eyelid. And I'm going to take some Fix Plus on that same brush and go back in with Plumeria over my eyelid. This is just going to make it a little bit more intense and I'm so sorry you guys, my lighting is so extremely bright in my background. I usually film with my shades closed and I forgot to shut them. Now I am just darkening my inner and outer corner with brown down again and blending once again, just making it a little bit deeper. Now with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation, I'm going to buff this all over my face. Max Pro Longwear Concealer on a Beauty Blender will help me conceal my under eye circles. And I you, you do use my Beauty Blender Damp, by the way. I don't know anybody who doesn't, but just for those of you who haven't used one before. take this around my nose and on my chin as well. There's some redness there that peeks through. Now let's get rid of those zits. I'm using my Laura Mercier Camouflage Concealer Palette in SC3. My holy grail of blemish concealers. I love it. Now using my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder and just a clean eyeshadow brush, I'm going to set my concealer under my eyes. I don't like to take this down as far as I put the concealer because my skin is so dry. I am going to be putting this on these little lines around my mouth though and over my blemishes just to set them. I don't like to put this all over my face. Oh my gosh, the light is so bright, I'm so sorry. Urban Decay's Chill Powder and Sephora Long Wearing Eyeliner Pencil in Nude. This is MAC Shroom and I am going to be highlighting my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye with this, my all time favorite highlighter. Now I'm going to be buffing brown down under my lower lash line with a shadow brush and really smoking it out down here.
Now I'm going in with that same color on a liner brush and just kind of squishing that into my lash line. Now with my BH Cosmetics liquid eyeliner, I am going to be making a cat eye. And apparently I can't figure out how to get my face in the frame. Now I'm using my Ardell Demi Wispies eyelashes. a coat of my lower lashes of my favorite L'Oreal telescopic mascara now my elf blush and bronzer duo love this thing I am going to be very lightly bronzing my face with the bronzing portion of the palette and very lightly contouring I just want it soft though oh my gosh this light you guys I am so sorry I look like a crazy ghost it does make my skin look flawless though I will say now lightly dusting the blush, it's just a nice pink blush on my face and you can't see the other half of my face because my light is so bright. What was I thinking? Now I'm just going to clean up that brush line with a clean foundation brush. This is a Bare Essentials one, I love this one. And I'm lining my lips with my Sephora Waterproof Lip Liner in Nude. And I'm using Max Snob lipstick. And I'm going over that with my set lipstick in San Francisco. You can get this by Target. It's a Napo Napoleon Paris brand for Target. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. All right, guys, I'm all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a couple videos linked here on the screen. I have a Lily Collins inspired tutorial and a pre-fall collective haul. You guys are free to click on those if you want to watch those next. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, like my Facebook page, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you and I will see you soon.